is a technical analysis on XLRE and Airbnb. XLRE being the biggest component of the real estate sector inside the S&P 500. Here we have the primary trend line off the COVID crash lows here. We had huge negative bearish divergences constructing and establishing on all three indicators, putting a huge divergent high here and uh, snapped, broke down, issued a sell signal off the primary trend line off the COVID crash lows and we had never looked back and really just been in a downtrend since with rising rates, rates pop of, popping off its lid and uh, inverting yields. Um, it, it's only a matter of time before they may uh, rise ever even higher. And if we have a primary trend line off the March lows here, and really, uh, I, I believe a strong break uh, with conviction on uh, below that 48.84 price support ought to issue a wave of selling, take out this primary trend line, and uh, I suspect uh, more moves. Again, we've got to wait for a solid break below that 48.84. And uh, this, these are some of my first targets, 48.21 for almost a 4% drop, 47.75, which will most likely coincide with that 200-day moving average at a 1.8% drop, down to 46.71, halfway through to test that 50-day moving average. By the time we get to 46.71, we might have taken out that, punctured that 50-day moving average, down to 45.75 for a 6% drop, down to the bottom of the range here, 44.40 for an 8.8% drop. Again, the real estate is looking vulnerable based off of... Uh, fundamental uh rising rates and uh again we could uh put in some uh, neutral we already have a crossover potential crossover here on the macd and oscillator which is ever more damaged and again uh it just plays in the fault of um being a smaller component of airbnb which will start to get hit too when you got interest rates rising at as fast as they are you can best believe if uh rates start to go fed hikes even more maybe up to two percent who knows nobody knows anything's possible but then you'll start to see some of these investors start to gift the homes back if uh, rates start to get out of control. Here we go off the monthly here. And we have a beautiful, beautiful three outside down bearish looking continuation pattern here off the monthly. That's as good as you can get right there. I mean, that's um, very bearish in debt. And I have always mentioned in my previous videos that the longer term monthly, weekly, daily charts usually, usually over, always overpower the smaller frame uh, charts uh, steam that head so that's three outside down bearish pattern you can google it all you want back down to the daily here and uh this is a technical analysis right here off of airbnb we have two primary trend lines down trend lines off the 2021 december highs here and we got that we definitely had a reaction on thursday and again you could set some stops up above maybe that 176 level previous highs depending on your risk tolerance here's a huge nice i like this uh resistance off the bottom of the gap 179.68 price resistance and that could uh, also bode well as a uh, stop uh you know you could issue some stops up above but again this is what you want to see maybe we do briefly pop up above and retest that 179.68 price support which would offer another objective entry short if we even get the, get there and uh that would be in a, a huge rejection and also would be nice as we'd also keep those divergences intact Negative and bearish divergence off this daily time frame, each counter representing a day here, which would also bring in a false uh, breakout. Again, we had a false breakout off the 179.68 price resistance here. And look at the velocity of the uh, sell off. Usually, false breakouts are some of the most bearish things that you can get. We briefly popped it and we got uh, uh, hit pretty hard right again. We briefly popped it again and had another false breakout. And uh, the outer picture, the bigger picture here is this is in a near term downtrend. This has been in a near-term downtrend despite its latest bullish activity. This has been in a downtrend ever since. And yeah, even off its lows, that's a huge uh, 29, 30% uh, gains. That's 30% rally right there. But again, it's still bearish because we're still remain in this downtrend off this symmetrical triangle here, this wedge that may play out. And again, here offers offer an objective entry short. Down to the bottom of the gap, 167.62. I know this is a, it's a very uh, distorted looking chart. Uh, some of these price actions I got off the weekly, some of the, and uh, again, it's just a, it's a very uh, distorted looking chart. But uh, I suspect at least a drop down to the bottom of that previous low range of the 159.31 price support for a 6.4% drop down to the 150.73. If we cut out, we cut out that 159.31 with authority, then some of these lows will probably be taken out and as long as uh as alongside the uh, 50 and 200 day moving average being punctured right through as well and again down to 15073 for 11.3 percent drop down to retest the primary uptrend line 
off the uh, COVID crash lows. Uh, actually, I don't even think it was uh, COVID at that. Yeah, it was a December, previous December uh, lows there uh, for a 16.5% drop. And if we crack below that, that will issue a secondary sell signal and uh, retest that 140, 57 for 17.3% drop, 137.63 for 19.3%. Uh, 17 percent drop down to 131 28 price support for and retest its previous march lows at a 22 percent drop so we'll see if we get it we'll uh definitely off offers an objective entry short here and uh we'll see uh if anything new develops i'll let you know